that's the first part of the question. Hi, Lynn, you're, you're on yeah. it. It was a, a very clear answer. So uh, I'm satisfied with it. Right, good. Yes. Mm. Right. So now I'm going to talk about your second part of the question. Uh, how to reach fifth dimension, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a loaded question. So, so let's talk about this. What is 5D? What is fifth dimension? Oh, before I move on, okay, let me just uh, a little bit talk about this issue of different teachers, different gurus. Um, there is um, naturally, we develop some kind of prejudice when we have our teacher, spiritual teacher. And I have seen this in a lot of different spiritual groups that I have encountered, that this uh, sense of ownership or sense of uh, protection uh, gets developed about our spiritual teacher. And then we get to this point that my teacher is better than your teacher. Uh, or this cult is being uh, developed that, okay, we're all wearing orange, uh, we're all having satsang, uh, we're getting together two times a week, we're doing some uh, um, chantings, and uh, we're all wearing white, we all have our hair long or short, uh, we're vegetarian, uh, we're celibate, we have renounced sex or any sexual activities or whatever. And so what happens is that all of a sudden we are creating separation and we're se separating ourselves as better and more holy in comparison to everybody else who is not following our teacher and is not doing our rituals. And you have to be very careful with that because that's another set of spiritual conditioning which is replacing your old conditioning. You're replacing your old conditioning or whatever it was. Let's say that you're in the mainstream world. You believe in Donald Trump. You believed in McDonald's. You believe in corporations. You believe in uh, mainstream medicine blah, 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 blah. And now you have given that up and you have become spiritual and you're wearing in a certain way, you dress up in a certain way, you have picked up new rituals. You're meditating, which is nice. And now you're not eating meat and you've become vegan. Are you given up this or given up that? And but now you still prejudice that anybody else who's not following your way, they're unconscious and they don't get it. And this happens very often in spiritual communities. So we give up a set of conditioning and we replace it with another set of conditioning, spiritual conditioning, and which is very dangerous. And I'm completely opposed to that is because the goal in this teaching is to help you become free, not to give up a set of conditioning and replacing it with another set of replace conditioning. The idea is to become free, so you are free from any conditioning. Freedom is the goal. And if you're going to get into another, another dogmatic situation that requires doing certain rituals, then you haven't freed yourself. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing the rituals and being a part of a, a spiritual group. But if you become prejudiced about it and come to this area that you think your teacher and your way is better than others, then you're trapped. 
and I'm included in that. Okay? I'm including myself into it. If you think our way and this is better than others, then you're trapped because there is no better or worse. It's just what works for you at, at your, where you're at in your evolutionary process, in your awakening process, where you're at. And it's always in this moment. And it can always change from one thing to another thing. But yes, there are teachings and teachers that are more refined. As you're waking up and as you're rising your vibrations to a higher frequency, you will start to develop less patience for bullshit you begin to see the bullshit. So you lose your patience for it. I understand that because you're getting more refined, more focused, and you are seeking spiritual teachers who are really focused on one point. And they're helping you to get to, to, the, to where you want to get to. That I understand. And that's the correct way. But be careful. Be aware that you don't allow your mind to bring you to this place of saying, my teacher and my way is better and more superior in comparison to that guy and that group because that kind of thinking is going to create separation and you have separated yourself from the whole the reality is that there is no separation you are all of it you are a part of all of everything that you see, you sense, and you experience. And those who are ignorant, they are a part of yourself. It's an aspect of yourself. So the mind would like, if the ego would like to come and say, this is better. No, it's better in this moment for you. It's the right way for you in this moment. So it's a dangerous area that you, meet, you need to be very aware of and not get caught into it. So Rosalie, just one minute. So I've seen this happen a lot of times. Uh, I've been a victim of it myself. Um, I've been casted out of different groups uh, because I wouldn't play the game. And I was never anybody's soldier. I always went my own way. And my teacher always told me, be a lion. And where the lion goes, he cuts his own path. 